I love telling people outside of the industry that, hey, you know what, we're gonna send digital data through MUD. Decoding is this really fun, messy art of recovering the mud pulse signal on surface. When I'm using the mud column as a transmission line, I've got unpredictable pump systems, rigs that have different plumbing. I've got changing tools all the time. I've got changing mud properties. It's about as unpredictable of a transmission line as you can, you can ask for. Sending a signal from Mars is kind of a bit easier by comparison. The industry really enjoyed a big boost with uh, the advent of what we call fast pulse, but that was a bit ultimately underwhelming to me because I feel like we made the slightest of investments into the surface decoding technology and the entire industry took a huge step forward. And so the question is, what if we make a massive investment into that technology? And I would say that Mark IV is what we saw in our minds as the starting point when we began the journey. Not only is it really high performance and really is exceeding all of our expectations now, but it's gonna give us the tools and the foundation we need to keep going further, faster. The features, I can say, the features are, are exciting. We're definitely, I think, doing something new, uh, which is always exciting, and that has the potential to impact any industry. It's start. It's an intuitive software, like every field hand that you talk to, they say how user-friendly it is, how easy it is, like you can put it in just about anybody's hands and, you know, they can figure it out. One of the features that we really enjoyed bringing out in Mark IV was what we're calling our adaptive pulse filters. We never, almost never see a wonderful, beautiful pulse, right, with no interference. And what happens is, due to the unique nature of every BHA and pulser and rig, what we get is this unique pulse signature on every stand of every job that's different with every depth and every change of the mud. And so what we did is we took all those non-idealities, which normally an engineer would just complain about and say, okay, well, we should really be addressing these other parts of the system to make the signal more ideal. And what we said is, no, we can actually turn those, take those non-idealities and, and turn them around and make them an advantage, right? And so what Mark IV does is as you drill forward, it's actually learning how to decode better by analyzing the signal it's seeing on the rig. It always annoyed me that you could actually physically see that, like with your eyes, you could see the sink but you wouldn't catch, you just like, can you just tell it that it's a sink right there? And that's what, what manual sink is on Mark IV. Okay, so it looks like uh, we didn't catch sink here. We're gonna click our pulses here, bring up the pulse view, and then we're gonna click on where you believe the sink pulses are. So we got a pretty good picture. You can zoom in a bit here. And then if you have a mouse, you can actually use your wheel to zoom in as well. You can see right here, uh, manual sink going to bring up this red template in the pulse width that the receiver is in. It's going to default to the pulse width that you have the decoder set to. We need to adjust that pulse width until it matches. Uh, the wonderful thing about the human automated decoding is its, it's benefits really begin to compound the more you use it. Not only are we saving NPT on an existing job by allowing the human to assist with the decoding, but then the decoding system is then learning from that human because that human just provided us with what's called supervised data. It has been the best performing historically against our data set uh, to date. So you're right, we're allowing uh, the user to help us learn. We, we are accounting for the scenarios that we haven't seen before by allowing the user to manually line up a uh, synchronization signal. And so now we absolutely know that this is good data that we can continue training our machine learning algorithms. So we're getting better at decoding all the time. And then on top of that, we have tools to push faster than we ever have been before, right? Our goal is to continue evolving our technology like that and, and have a major significant improvement to our ability to decode coming out to customers every three to six months, if not faster, and really just you know delight our, our customers with things that they never thought possible.